Eat it, you hoe! Eat it, you hoe! Yes! What was that? What? 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 What is this? What? What is this? Oh my God, he's coming for us! Ah! Ah! It's like freaking out of poltergeist or something. In lower Vegas, the place we're back with more my summer real estate agency. So I have goals, and they're not like world peace or anything like that. The goals for today are to take Satana over there, our gambling buddy, and make him homeless and carless. Because if you remember, we can actually bet for the vehicles, and I think they said that you can bet for the house too, if you work your uh, if you work your bets up high enough. And I started working the crap out of my bets. So I got a bunch of cash on me right now, just in case. I lost a lot of money, but we're millionaires, so it doesn't really matter. We still have the beautiful rust sack over here. And it has been working pretty well. We got the Jonas inside, so we have a backup vehicle. Uh, oh, don't I have the... Okay, good. We have our keys. <laughs> Otherwise, no one has a freaking screwdriver inside. And a sweet-ass roof rack as well. You know what? Hold on, we gotta put this roof, this roof rack to good use. I smell like crap like now because I've been sleeping in this thing for the past few days, but you know how it is. Oh yeah, there we are. Now we're looking friggin' slick, right there. Oh, you know what, hold on. Let's grab a bite to eat. All right, go ahead and uh, throw down a little sausage for me over there, buddy. I'm gonna bring that with me. How about a bottle of noble booze and asbestos gloves? Or tall friends? What the hell? This some sort of Finnish saying? Is that like a slang or something like that? It's gotta be slang, right? That's gotta mean something. I've never heard of that one before. Over here with the sausage and fries. We're gonna bring this with us. Now, you know the mini game. You have to keep it on top of the roof rack. You can't put it inside the car. That doesn't count. So we're gonna go ahead and wedge this. Right between two cases of beer. I think it's gonna be totally fine. Oh, the ignition. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh, listen to that thing purr. Sounds like we're, well, sounds like we're all gonna die of freaking carbon monoxide poisoning inside here or something like that. I wish the windows rolled down. Do the windows roll down? Hold on. Oh, come on. Oh, no, it doesn't look like they do. That's too bad. I was hoping the windows rolled out. But yeah, stealing this guy's car is one thing, but we gotta win it. We gotta win it the, the correct way. You know what I mean? Man, this thing is loud inside. It sounds like you're inside of a friggin' washing machine. Although I guess the, the cost of this thing is probably about the same. What would you guys think for this car? About 400 bucks? I remember a buddy of mine, his very first car when we were young men was a Volkswagen Rabbit. I think it was a 1983 or something? I don't even know. But, uh... $400 he got it for from the uh, the junkyard now it didn't have any heat in it and where I used to live you needed heat because it got freaking cold and so what we had done was we had hot wired a blow dryer <laughs> into the wiring so that we could use the blow dryer inside of the car to generate heat that way all right our buddy should be right up here I think and they're a dirt road or something like that I don't remember off the top of my head. I wonder where Trogdar is. I haven't seen him in a while either. Usually he's pedaling around in these back roads trying to freaking kill me. But now that I have this rusty bastard, should he look at me wrong, I have a feeling that we would win. Whoa, here we go. Oh, these brakes are glorious. Oh yeah, don't worry. This is a this is an off-road vehicle, boys. This thing does great off-road. Right like that. There we are. Oh. Are you freaking kidding me? Did we just stall this thing out? Come on! Come on, come on, there we go. All right, so we may have to throw it in neutral a little bit and then come off the line hard. There we have it. Now, as I was trying to say, look at the off-road capabilities here of this thing. There it is, whee! All right, the old Noah Thrill 360 never hurt anybody. A Little bit of whiplash, we're fine. We'll stretch that out at yoga practice tomorrow. There we are, there's Trogdarf. And that was only a matter of time. Yeah, we ended up going uh, backwards. So, Gray will get you there. He may not get you there on the first try, but he'll get you there eventually. Let's try and not fly off the road this time, though. There we are. There we have it. Oh, watch out for the old tree over there. No big deal, though. Just kind of maneuver around it. Now we're set. This is it. I know it. I, I feel it in my bones. Oh, yeah. 
I kept the screwdriver out just in case. This thing stalls on uh, like all the time over here. All right. Hey, Satan. Just bringing your car back to you. It's been fun, but we need to win it the correct way. Parking brake on, or handbrake, I guess I should say. Turn the ignition off. And by ignition, I mean, uh, you know, throw our friggin' screwdriver in there. I'm sure Satan would be proud at how we got it, but we gotta go do our thing. As appropriate gamblers of power, we need to gamble the right way. God, I always forget the friggin' light. I really need to bring the flashlight, because I think that would make things a lot better for visual purposes. Hello there, my arch enemy. It's just you and I now. Your devoted followers can't freaking help you. Oh, you know what? Hold on, before we start... Before we start, there's, oh my god, I can't even see the frigging car. Here it is. Before we start, oh, we kept it. We just got launched into the stratosphere. All right, that was odd. I just got launched into space. We kept the fries. Yes, the sausage right over there. All right, little sausage. The hoo-hoo bird is doing his frigging thing, driving me nuts. It's good luck, though. It's gambler's, it's the gambler's bird. You boys know that. All right. Put it over, put this over here. There we go. Go ahead and grab one right now. All right, Satan. You know what you can have? Get out my empty bottle. <laughs> Boom, right there in your chiclets. Wow, he's actually pretty powerful. It didn't even knock the, uh, didn't even knock the cigarette out of his mouth. All right, go ahead and eat my sausages over there. Now we bet. I think I had to go to like 4,000 or something before it said cars. And I think it said something like cars or something. Hold on. Right over, not yet, not yet. Did a door just open? I thought a door just opened. Is this guy trying to assassinate me? Uh, cars, there we go. All right, this is for all the marbles, boys. Cars, let's freaking do this. Do it. Woo, oh, that's an 11. All right, that's terrible. Uh, let's go ahead and hit. Uh, we're gonna have to hit again. Stand at 18. All right, Satan. All right, pig man, what you got for me? All right, that's not gonna be good enough for you. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We just lost the Satsuma. Damn it! All right, that's fine though. I got plenty of cars, I got plenty of cars. This is why Gray doesn't gamble. House, okay. Sure, I don't mind being homeless. Ah, 20, that's gonna be a victory. I can smell it right now, stand at 20. Go ahead, Satan, what do you got? What do you got, you ain't got crap. You got nothing, you got nine. You scumbag, you scumbag. Now eat it. Eat it, you ho! Eat it, you ho! Yes! What was that? What? What is this? What is, what is this? Oh my god, he's coming for us! Ah! Ah! It's like freaking out of poltergeist or something! He's trying to eat our ball sack! I think that's what just happened! He just levitated through the wall. I. We. I. So. Did I, w I I won, right? Do I still have my scrotum? I can't see it because there's you can't see your person. You can only see your arms. Oh, and for some reason, I gotta tell you guys, in the middle of uh, winning a house for us, we won the cabin! I don't know if this is worth the Satsuma. Can I have my Satsuma back? Where does this guy live now? Like, do we, like, how do I bet more with him? Can I invite him into the house? Can I fix my friggin' table after he tried to flip it? Oh, mother of Jesus, boys. It's, it, this is something out of Hellraiser right here. Look at him. He's flip-flopping around, still smoking his freaking cigarette on all fours. This is, this is Halloween. This is like, this is like The Shining. That's what's going on right over here. Look at how thick our hands are now. You go home. He can't because we took his home. <laughs> Poor scumbag. Can I sleep in here? Oh, you can. Oh, we can sleep here now because we own it. But I want my Satsuma. You can't have the Satsuma too. All right, hold on. It's dark as crap outside. Let's go to sleep real quick. Oh, mother of God. Is the millionaire gonna come here and try and jack us up now? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna grab a couple of beers. Right up with some celebratory beers, you boys know. Hold on, we gotta get him out the door though. I wanna keep this place nice and clean. Otherwise, you guys are gonna heckle me for it. There we go. We're gonna keep all the beers outside. Because, you know, the, the wallpaper in this place, this is something like out of HGTV. I got to get one of those guys in here, maybe do a little bit of remodeling. But uh, we're going to go ahead and catch some Zs, and then in the morning time, we'll see if the devil is still pedaling around outside of the house. It's a brand new day, and I think it's raining outside. It's raining like hell outside. Is it, is it daybreak yet or what? 
Oh, it's beautiful outside. The sun cresting over the hills in the distance. Our car looking sweet. And this poor guy is just, he's like our pet now, I guess. Can I pet him? Can we touch him? This is so strange. That, this is... Topless gun! You're a weird duck, man! <laughs> you are a strange guy! I love this. Oh, I wonder if we could save here now! Remember how before it was a lie and we couldn't save here? Oh, you can! We can save here now! Yes! We own this part of the map! So, like this log area? Can we use this? I wonder if there's like any secrets here now that we own this area. All right, the cabinets don't seem to open. We can check the inside by smashing our forehead into them, finish headbutt style. Now, it doesn't look like there's anything hidden. Can you play more cards? I wanna, I wanna play more cards. That's too bad if we can't play any more cards. So we killed the mil, well, we didn't kill him. We got the millionaire's money. Now we have Satan's cabin that we own. I want to get him right in front of the cabin on all fours. That's going to be the screenshot. I guess I own this. I, I don't I don't know what this is, but I own it. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe Tamo will have some use for it. And then over here in, the, uh, in this garage, I guess we can park the vehicle in here now. Oh, that reminds me. Since I won the house... Do I get the key for this vehicle or something? Oh! We have the keys now! I don't have to use a screwdriver anymore! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, we've won everything! We've won everything in the world, boys! We got a brand new freaking uh, dock over here. Actually, while we're here, I think I'm gonna go for a swim real quick and get rid of some of our dirtiness. Man, between swimming and swearing, I can get everything done. Look at our dirtiness go down. I could even get the stress down a little bit. It just takes a lot of effort, man. Oh man, you have to curse like crazy. But the stress is down a little bit. We're nice and clean over here. We've got our own pet pig man. I wonder if he'll do my bidding. That'd be fantastic if I could, like, force him to do things for me. Hey! Satan! Go to the store and get me some beer. Because I don't want to... Can you... Whoa! I just got lost in here! Okay! Satan is still extremely physically potent. His prowess is second to none. I don't think we should mess with him. Actually, I think we kind of should mess with him. Hold on real quick. I wonder, can you... Like, can you throw a punch at this guy? Like, what happens if you do? Alright, hold on. Right over here. How about if we... Oh, oh. Can we, can we knock him out? Nope, definitely not working. We're a little bit thirsty now, but luckily I still have plenty of beers. Ugh. Man, let me tell you boys something. You want, you want to make sure to clear at least two or three beers early in the morning like this, man. When the sun gets too high in the sky, the beers on the outside of the car start getting too warm. I wonder right now, like, it's October... You know, it's like the getting toward the end of October. Is it cold enough in Finland right now to leave your beer outside? Or will it freeze? It's not that cold, right? It's not It's not freezing yet, is it? I know you guys will let me know. All right, let's head over and see if we can still use the Satsuma. Man, I gotta tell you, we got properties all over the place now. We're like, we're like Finnish Pitbull. That's basically what we are. In order to be Finnish Pitbull, you need three things. Well, really, in order to write any kind of Pitbull song, you need three things. You need to have a lot of money. You need to be able to sing about all the money that you have, which we have. We're millionaires. We, we, got the, we got the lottery winnings. You need to be able to sing about how you have properties all over the world, which we're, they're kind of all based in this little crappy town in Finland. But we do have a lot of properties. We got more than one property now. And then we need to talk about all the different women that we're with, which is a little bit difficult because there's no women in the game yet. Top of this gun. Our teenage Finnish guy needs to be able to get a girlfriend in this game, man. There are no Finnish women in my summer car. I don't even know if they exist, to be quite honest, because I've never seen one in the game at all. Not even, like, on the drag strip, walking around, perhaps. Maybe even over at the pub at nighttime. Nothing. All right, as we roll up into town, I'm pretty sure that we left our, uh, our vehicle somewhere over here by the, uh, by the poop plant. Matter of fact, I think it's behind. There it is. 
There it is. Now, if I lose the Satsuma, I'm assuming I can't, like, put my key in the ignition or anything anymore. I have no idea how this works. All right. Turn this off. Brake on. I don't even know why I'm using the brake. It's not like anyone's taking this rust piece of crap. All right. So can we still use it? Well, I can still get in. All right. Okay, I can enter driving mode. Oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. This is good. I think what it was, was we needed a new battery or something. I, I seem to remember when there was a bunch of updates. We haven't used this car in so long. There was a bunch of updates, and the battery wouldn't work anymore. Like, you had to charge it or something. There's a new battery charger. We need to get one. Hey, Mo! What's up there, Glumpsy? There we go! A car battery! 495 marks? I'll pay that all day. I thought maybe there'd be something else lying around. I'm pretty sure there's like a battery charger or something now. Oh, we may need to get it from our, uh, we may need to get it from the pamphlet that we have at home. I know there's new shocks and stuff too. I'm gonna do that eventually. But first, I wanted to win more property, all right? Remember, finish Pitbull. We have to take care of that crap first. Man, this thing burns up gas. We are, uh, already kind of low. Already kind of low, and we haven't really driven it that far. Worse than the Satsuma when it comes to stalling out, too. Oh, this thing's turning radius. It's friggin' atrocious. All right, kind of like this over here. There we go. Da 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 da. Hey! Da 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 da. Thought I'd give you a lift there, officer. Don't mind me. That's free of charge. No, no cost for you, sir. No cost for you. All right, now right over here should be the entrance. There we go. Crap! The car keeps stalling on me. And I think that the bus is coming. All right, we need to get this thing out of the road. All right, let me rev it up a little bit, rev it up a little bit, and then go. You gotta be kidding me! Come on, you piece of crap! What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? You're trying to get me killed? Come on! Come on, all right, to neutral. Warm it up a little bit, no big deal, right? No big deal, and then hit. What is going on with this freaking thing? Luckily, we managed to move out of the freaking roadway, though, or we would have been toast. There we go. I guess we were giving it too much gas, maybe, or something like that. I don't know. I probably, I'm probably way too hard on this old car. Pull right over here to the General Lee. The fake General Lee, as it is. Go ahead and slam on the uh, handbrake over there. All right. Now, let's put this new battery in and see if we can get the beautiful B started. Are we missing the battery? It almost looks like there's not a battery in here at all. I guess the battery left when it got updated. That's fine. All right, now it should go right in here somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere close. Some, oh, oh, right there. Right there. Okay, that's gotta be it. All right, close this down. This battery better come charged, by the way. Otherwise, I'm gonna be freaking pissed, Tamo. All right, over here, driving mode. All right, fingers crossed, boys. And here we go. Yes. Oh. Okay, yep. Oh, don't need the Satan music anymore. There we go! Yes! We have all the cars! Lose the Satsuma? I don't freaking think so! Yeah, boys! Yes! Good! Wow, this thing doesn't seem to turn like it used to, I feel. But anyway, so this worked out perfect. Alright, hold on. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and throw it off here. Uh... That's some knock going on in there. That is some knock. At least that's what it sounds like. I don't know. Car experts. What the hell is that? What is freaking going on in there? I, I've never, I don't think I've ever heard that sound before in this car. But, all right. We've done it. We've done everything we can do at this point. The next thing is to get the brand new suspension in. We got the battery in. Everything's working. We own a brand new house. Which we can now say that, which is friggin' amazing. And I think I'm gonna use this car for a while. I kinda like this car. Like I said, it's pretty sweet that it has a place to sleep right in the back. And it has a lot of beer space. Both on the, uh, both on the, uh, roof rack over here and on the inside. You know, I just thought about it. There's one modification that I would make to this car to make it much better. I don't know if it'll work, though. Let's check it out. What? Oh, I was hoping I could bust out the windshield! Oh, this windshield is so dingy. All right, everyone. We're millionaires. We're property tycoon owners. And we have a pig slave now. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of My Summer Car. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.